Hey everybody, we're going to try this again a little bit. So I was doing a live stream a few minutes ago, didn't notice that the audio had just stopped working from my microphone. Super awesome, but we're just going to look really quickly at what I was going to be showing tonight, which was this tool in FL Studio called Pitcher. My mistake was is that I was showing you how to install it as well, and the minute... I started installing it, the sound went away. So I've got this little setup here right now. And what I have is FL Studio. This is the beta for the Mac. So it's, it's they're calling it beta, but it's like early enough that it's really in many ways less than a beta. But it's also a beta of the actual newer beta software of FL Studio. So it's like a double beta. And so it's super unreliable in many ways. It's a limited time beta, which means it's only good this version till March 22nd or something. And on top of that, what we're looking at is a ton of features not working, not being reliable with dual monitors, all kinds of things. But I did want to showcase this one tool because it's one that I wish was in Logic so much. And I hope at some point that FL Studio or ImageLine considers releasing this as a, as a plugin that you can get in any software, like they've done with some of their newer things. But to this point, they haven't done that. So what it does is it's like Auto-Tune in many ways, except with a lot more features for live control. So let me just walk through the setup of this real quick. We have all of the normal stuff. Let me turn off the extra features for a second. We have speed, fine tuning. We can turn on whether it's controlling formants or not. It has this little gender knob. The sun is always burning round and round from the ground. But what I like is that we can also do MIDI control. And the MIDI control in FL Studio relies on an actual MIDI out object over here in our channel rack. This is what it looks like. We set the port on this and then it takes the MIDI from an external keyboard, sends it over this internal port one, which then goes to port one on the pitcher. And it means I can control which notes are being activated on pitcher. The sun is always spinning round and round from the ground. From the crowd, the sun is always spinning round and round. So it doesn't do the octave as well, but it definitely gets us into whatever key we're pushing on the MIDI keyboard. And if we turn on harmonize, we can actually do chords and it will actually break out the input into multiple notes and shift them to the keys you're playing on your keyboard. Plus we can pan out the harmonies right here. The sun is always spinning round and round from the ground, from the ground. So it's pretty cool how it does that. It takes whatever is the, whatever the input is and will switch it to the keys you're playing on the MIDI keyboard. Now, if you're actually performing a song which makes sense with the keys, it's going to sound better than what I'm doing here, which is taking a pre-existing melody and just listening to it. The sun is always spinning round and round from the ground, from the ground. So you can hear that that wasn't really the greatest harmony. But formants here, if we turn that off. The sun is always spinning round and round from the and we may have lost a little sound there. We'll see if it comes back. The sun oh, yeah. is always spinning round and round. So that's doing more like a full pitch shift of everything to the notes. Whereas if we do this, it retains the formants, which gives you a slightly more natural sound than if you leave it off. The sun is always spinning round and round from the ground. And you'll see the little lights come on depending on how many notes I've pushed. If I do a full four note chord here. The sun is always spinning round and 
round, round the ground. It'll actually light up all of them, and those will be panned depending on where these little sliders are. Okay, so one of the points of me doing this whole video was to talk about something I wish we had in Logic. And in fact, we can replicate this, but we end up having to duplicate all the tracks and then manually adjust the pitch for each of the harmonies that we want to do and manually adjust the pan. And so it's not nearly as easy as what we have here with the MIDI control. So if we go into Logic, I was showing this a little bit. I duplicated this vocal line to a second one and then was adjusting the flex pitch manually. The sun is always spinning round and round. The sun is always spinning round and round. The sun is always spinning round and round. It actually ends up sounding better this way, but it's a lot more tedious and you can't actually do it live. And so while I really like the sound of it, I like having these harmonies which come from the same exact note. What I'm hoping eventually that we get is something that allows us to do it real time, MIDI control, and actually sounds even better than what Pitcher can offer. Okay, that's it for tonight. Just wanted to showcase this thing. Uh, if you were watching the earlier live stream, sorry that it blipped out, but hope you found this a little bit interesting, perhaps useful, and hope you're having a great week.